Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and you might have seen this exact video, or it's not going to be exactly, where I shared the file that my best lifetime friend created an Excel spreadsheet to put in different dimensions, like a 1.5 inch logo on a 8.1875 circumference of a bottle, you need to stretch it to 1.5983. And and then you could put in any number. You could make this one, make this eight. And I just kind of realized that uh, the smaller the logo, the less you have to stretch it. So I inadvertently was, he actually updated the file. So we'll go to Facebook and it's right here, revised. And I was going in and trying to change it. And I inadvertently erased the logo. So, if you go to Corel Draw File Share, right here under Files is this. I deleted the other one, so there wouldn't be any confusion. And I've had one person on Facebook say that he he runs round logos all the time and doesn't have a problem. Well, this is a perfectly round piece of paper, and when you wrap it around the bottle, it looks like an egg. These are egg-shaped type pieces of paper, and when you wrap it around the bottom, they look like a circle. So if you have good luck without doing that, well, good for you. Maybe you're just doing little logos where it's so minutely, but if you do a four inch logo around here, or three inch logo, uh, I can almost guarantee you it's gonna stretch. And this is kind of a revision of, you know, before we were using this online cap, well, you could still use this. If you don't have XL, you just type in your radius and your cord length and your cord length is the distance across where the logo would look, and you just type in those two factors, and you get 1.5983, 1 which is exactly 1.5983, and my friend just kept extending it out, which I love, because if you had this number extended out, you could actually go a little further with it. But anyway, he set it up real nice, so we, for the community, we need to thank him Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.